All right, this is immediately after unlocking the bootloader. Our device is reset. We have to log into our Wi-Fi, and we need to, um, you know, get our phone started back up again. So I'm going to hit no. I'm going to go ahead and cancel all this out, and then maybe later. Okay, and I'm just going to go to my settings here, and then I'm going to go down to about phone. You got to do the build number all over again. So. There we go. Now we go back and there's developer options. We are going to go to USB debugging, press OK. And then we're going to allow this computer. If you do not see this, it's because your drivers are incorrect. And you need to go to the link in the description or to my previous video and watch how I fixed that. So there we have it. We're going to go to our computer now. Just Google TWRP Moto G and you should find the link pretty quickly. It'll either take you to an XDA thread or a Team Win website where you can click on a link and it'll take you to a page full of .IMGs to download from like Tarichta or something. I can't pronounce it. Okay, and then this part we're going to go ahead and flash recovery. We're going to need recovery in order to root our Moto G. And also at this time we're going to go ahead and search for... Super SU, we're going to click enter to search for it. We're going to go to the thread and then we're going to go down here until we find a link right here, this one. And then we're going to click on that and then we're going to hit download um, this. And when it's done, we're going to show in folder. We are going to right click that, choose send to and our Moto G, the XT1034. And then we're going to go back to this thread and we're going to figure out how to do this. So we need to download the recovery. So download version 4 for this build. Um, 4.4 bootloaders only, which is what we're on. So there's the Moto G, Torp 2634 Moto G44. We're going to show in folder. And we're going to take this. We're going to cut it. And then we're going to go to our platform tools. If you do not have the platform tools, then you need to watch my video on how to install the Android SDK. And so that we're going to go ahead and just paste that in here. And then we're going to hold shift, right click, and choose open command window here. And we're going to do just like it says. Uh, fast boot, flash, recovery. Um, so actually we need to take that and we need to rename that to recovery. So we're going to open up our thing here. You know, you don't have to, honestly. Just go to your, I'll show you. I'll try to do it manually without. Uh, you could rename the file if you really wanted to. But you can do fast boot. Oh, we need to be in bootloader mode. So we're going to do ADB, reboot bootloader and our device is going to reboot into bootloader mode and we're going to type in fastboot flash recovery and then we're going to do um, it was called twerp so twrp and then hit the tab button on your keyboard and it's going to auto populate that name it's going to be the dot img so we're going to hit enter and it's going to push the recovery to the device now we have Torp Recovery on our device. So if we hold the down button and choose volume up, it should take us into our brand new Torp Recovery that we flashed just now. And then from here, you're going to need to go to uh, wipe, advanced wipe, choose the cache, and then swipe to wipe. Or, or you could just type in uh, fast boot erase cache on the computer. And the texturing is a little bit buggy at the moment, but again, this is a developer release, so it's not perfect yet, but I, it's working. So we're going to go to our internal storage, and we're going to find that Super SU-193. Optionally, if you have recovery, you can choose Reboot, Reboot to System, and then you can go to your phone's mobile browser, type in Super SU, go to, to the XDA thread, download the um, little zip that I did in the on the computer and you can do that on your phone and then it would be inside your um, install up a level it, it would be in your download folder if you did it from your phone so you can do that just fine without actually right clicking and sending it to your device I find it easier to do it before we actually install recovery so oh, again this is a little bit buggy so we're gonna Make sure that we have update super SU 193 and then we're going to just swipe to confirm flash. This will get better in time. So don't don't think this is going to be how it is when you do it. All right. So with a little bit of magic touch, we are now installing super SU. We can go ahead and choose reboot system now. 
which let's try that again. If you if it does like it did for me, just go to reboot and choose system. All right, so you're done with the computer. You can go ahead and close out the computer. You uh, just check this thread back for updates. Whenever it gets officially supported, you can just go to twerp moto G. It'll be like a Torechta link, and you'll click on it, and you'll just choose the latest version. And you won't have to download it from the next day thread whenever it becomes official. So when our phone boots up here, we should see that we have twer um, Super SU. So Android is upgrading. That's a good sign. We're going to go to our app drawer. And in our app drawer, we're going to see that we have Super SU. And then, no thanks, I'm already following him. So in here, you can choose all the options you like. I uncheck reauthentication, but please keep in mind that when you uninstall an app that asks for root, it's going to be in your apps right here, and it's not going to have an icon next to it. And you need to press on it and choose forget. So um, if you keep reauthentication checked, then you won't have that problem. But when you go to update an app like Titania Backup, for example, it will mess up. Let's go ahead and show you that real quick. Let's open up Chrome here. And without signing into the Play Store, we can search for Titanium Backup. We can go to the link right here, Titanium... Um, let's go to matrixrewriter.com. Right here, it's the very first link. And then you'll just scroll down here until you see... Okay, so where to find Titanium Backup? Just hit the For Download button, and then it will download. Press OK. And before you install it, you'll need to go to your settings, and you'll need to go to Security uh, right here. And then you'll need to, I uncheck visible passwords, but you don't have to. You need to uncheck verify apps and check unknown sources. Now, when you go to download Titanium Backup, you can press next, next, install. And then whenever you open it, you'll see that it asks for root and we have root permission. So that's freaking awesome. If this video helped you root your Moto G, please give this video a thumbs up. If you feel like being awesome, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. You won't regret it. I've got many more videos coming very soon. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All links will be in the description below, including the video on how to unlock your bootloader. Just click where it says show more. It'll expand in the description and you'll get to see all the links. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.